Elon Show. Welcome everybody to DJ Ayy Elon Show. Welcome everybody to DJ Ayy Elon Show. doing good but then this morning I call and had a fever I was like 99.7 my stomach wasn't doing right it was not a great day for me so I you know had a call out sick plus check out this snow over here yeah it's a snow day well, not really a snow day, but we're working from home. All I've been doing is been taking a lot of uh, multi-cough medicines and a lot of, lot of bone broth. That helps. Bone broth is the key to success. Your boy knows what I'm talking about. Hoping to get better by by Monday. We'll see. Hey, uh, it's your boy. Um, it's day two of being sick, but we're on the 8th of uh, January, and uh, as you can see, my voice is a little bit better compared to before. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a rest day. No gym once again, unfortunately. Got to stay healthy, but, you know, uh, let's see how it is outside. And yeah, um, I have no intention to go outside due to the matter, you know, most likely it's going to be editing the first episode that should be posted by now. And then after that, I will be, I don't know, resting. If my head is more doable with audio and stuff, then I might be streaming or I might be watching anime, you know what I'm saying? Let's see that. Enjoying some popcorn while watching the uh, game. Kansas City might be taking the number one seed, I believe. So now we're getting ready for the Eagle versus the Cowboys for the number one two seed if the Bucks and two other teams lose uh, tomorrow on Sunday. Um, honestly, I don't care because they're, I'm a Giants fan and these two are in the playoff or we're not, we're four and 10, but that's what it is. In the last game, the, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the Chiefs did win the game, even though Broncos were looking really good in the first half, but Chief me got the W. So we're going to see what happened now, but now we're going to be watching this game. So cross fingers. I'm hoping for the for the Eagles. Actually, I hope both teams lose. It ends up in the tie. <laughs> Giant nation all the way. All right, so the game right now, uh, Cowboys just picked. It's 44-20 to 20 with on the fourth quarter. I think it's safe to say that Cowboy won, you know, because of defense. Shout out to their defense. But, hey. Now they only have to hope that everybody else is lose for them to get the number two spot. So it's late, and I took some, you know, meds that make you kind of sleepy and loopy. So let's call it a little night, and let's see what tomorrow has for tomorrow. Uh, for us tomorrow. Peace. So it's uh, Sunday. Forgot the date. But um, 
I had to come outside to clean out my car because my poor little sister, she didn't want to do it. So now <laughs> it was up to me to get the job done. You know what I'm saying? I'm using a different phone. <laughs> yes, I do have multiple phones, but uh, my <laughs> vlog phone, I left it upstairs charging, so I'm using this one for now. Um, I think the game, the game plan for today is just do a little bit of grocery shopping and then I will go out and do some, <clears throat> maybe a walk at the gym. I do have clothes and everything in my car, so let's ride. Alright, so I'm going to do some grocery first because I do need some type of, I, ha I haven't ate anything yet since I woke up. So, you know, since I'm not 100%, I'm going to be double masking. So basically, my first layer of mask right here, once I finish some tangling it. This thing is so dope, it keeps you from your ear not hurting too much. But I'm gonna do the first layer like this. And then I'm gonna do the second one. I'm not doing it for them, I'm doing it for myself. I'm gonna be a little bit responsible now that I'm feeling a bit better. Um, and yeah. 12 seconds later. So I'm back, spent a little bit more than what I, I anticipated, but hey, that's what it is. What I'm gonna quickly do before going to the gym, bananas, really good. Um, usually I eat like two of these, you know what I'm saying? Um, gonna go to the gas station right next door, hopefully. I finally get those discount because I have like 300 points supposedly. So let's see how it goes. And then uh, from there, I'm just going to, um, it's going to give my myself enough time to break down the food. And then I should be able to be at the gym to do some cardio. And then that's how I'm going to start my morning.
did it. We're done. Gotta save a bit. But anywho, uh, it felt good. Uh, the workout was successful. I'm pleased to say that um, I didn't feel too uh, tired. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been in bed for two days. Even though resting is good for the body. But when I when I like to rest day, you know what I'm saying? My rest day are more of like light walks. You know what I'm saying? Um, or just doing some type of light workout for 30 minutes. Because um, one thing for sure is I got to keep my body active. I got to keep myself engaged in order to achieve the goal that I'm looking for. Because without doing so, then, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be a tough time for me to be able to, you know, get to that goal. I have been 100 pounds before. If I could find an image, I'll post it right here. But I've been less than 100 pounds before. I've been in the 200s. I've been in the 100s. But it's been years. So for me to be able to reach this goal, it's so much of a personal thing than more of a me getting a credit by, you know what I'm saying, by people. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter about that. Like for me right now, I'm just still, I visualize myself once again, lighter, leaner, um, hopefully much muscular <coughs> than I was before. Excuse me, because that's the whole point of um, you know working out is being able to be in a position where I believe Goggins said a healthy body provides a healthy mind, helps a health, a healthy mind, and throughout hopefully if I stay consi uh, consistent in this uh, in, in this project we could call it I'm hoping you guys see that it's um, you know there's certain mental challenges for me here and there but I'm willing to overcome it you know what I'm saying I definitely want to be uh, celebrating my birthday as a whole different person if you may my birthday is in like eight months in a few weeks from now but uh the reason why I want to get to 100 pounds before May is because I do want to go traveling, you know, out of country more into the Central American section, and I'll go more in depth in the near future. But ideally, in those surroundings, big guys like myself, like my current state, we don't get far. You know what I'm saying? We we get some, but we don't get far. But I definitely want to be able to be much more fitting to be able to, you know, you know, be able to socialize, not feel awkward, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the biggest thing for me is the awkwardness. I, I just don't like being, like, double-chaired and stuff like that. If you've never been to, like, a like a third-world country before, um, it, they, they'll provide you these, like, beach chairs, you know what I'm saying, plastic ones. But a big dude, they would double it or triple it, depending on person or they would have to give up an elder's comfortable chair to provide for a big person like myself and I don't want to do that I, I just want to be like I, I would be at least be less of a trouble <laughs> than anything so that's part of the goal you know what I'm saying that's part of the reason why you know May I'm hoping that I'll be able to travel out <coughs> And, um, you know, be able to be in the Central Americans uh, real soon if things um, please progress in the positive than the negative. And then from there, we'll, you know, see how it goes. Uh, other than that, I'm, I'm definitely watching what I'm eating. That's been a big help. And, you know, um, you know, hey, if you have any other ingredients, shoot me an email and I'll check it out. So it's um, January 10th, woke up early, couldn't sleep much, but I'm on my way to the gym. 
Um, sorry about the audio from the last clip. I'm going to figure out how to improve it a little bit better while I'm driving. But other than that, here we go. Um, I think I'm just going to post both results here. And yeah. Alright, so because of that last video where the car was making too much noise, I decided just to record once I stopped and it makes more sense because that background was really hard to edit for, for real, for real. But last night we had fun uh, at the basketball game. Um, it was great seeing my sister's friend uh, play ball. He was number three. Um, he, was, he did well. Really impressed. Really, really impressed. Uh, but this morning, uh, today being the, uh, the 11th, I, uh, I had to give my body more rest because I'm noticing because I'm still not a hundred percent well in my immune system, but at the same time, I, I was so exhausted. I feel like, yo, give it rest. You know what I'm saying? Give it a chance and then come at it again the next day. So, um, you know, these are going to be the numbers. You know of what I did so far at work I do a lot of walk walking so I, I'm not sure if I should count that well we'll think about it but so then um, you know this is how much I ate and yeah I'm hoping today will be much a smoother day than it was yesterday because yesterday was such a busy day I was exhausted I was like I still sounded like this you know and I would still be able to kill a lot of projects. Now it's a little bit laid back, less pressured uh, with certain um, projects that I'm in. So I'm really excited. So yeah, uh, till then. All right, uh, morning. Uh, today is um, the 12th and um, I did miss out going to the gym this morning. Uh, definitely got to be accountable for that um for a certain reason during the late evenings to like like morning around like three to four i start to feel very um like certain symptoms that i, I feel like yo I, sniffle coughing all that good jazz and i'm like great i'm not in the best condition however once i do take a nice hot bath it definitely make a big difference. I know I'm fashionable right now, uh, <laughs> uh, but it's New England, baby. You gotta stay warm the best you can. So um, yesterday was a, you know, I didn't record much because it was more like, I, I do wanna have some private moment moments for myself, especially about with family, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, but it, it was funny because we went to the laundry, man. Let me see if I could do like clip arts to like paint a picture for you guys. But we went to to the laundry, man, um, the one that we, we usually go to. And uh, I usually leave the detergents inside of the car. Unfortunately, I forgot that when it's below 32 degree Fahrenheit, liquid get frozen. And that's exactly what happened with the bottle. The bottle was like frozen solid. And I was like, oh, snap. So uh, my little sister, who uh, many of you know lives with me, she was like, what we're going to do? And I was like, bet, I got this. So I, you know, go into the bathroom. Thank God the, we have access to a uh, restroom at the laundry mat. And I just started to run the bottle under hot water. And let that run for about a minute or two. And when I uh, opened the cap, 
you know, the solid, you know, started to liquefy again. I'm like, yes, science is awesome. <laughs> but then this is the best part. So then my sister grabs the soap, the detergent, and she inserted it to the machine. And she was like, oh, man, this is still kind of like gloopy and, and, and it, it doesn't want to like enter into the machine. And I was like, oh, snap, what we're going to do. Unbeholden to me, unbeknown to me, we, I had plastic bottles in my uh, laundry bag because I forgot to, um, I live on the third floor, so I'd have to bring it down, you know, recycling to the, you know, the re recycling bin, but I forgot to dispose of it before I, I went to work. So I was like, oh, wait, I got these bottles. And she was like, Oh, I see what we could do. We could put hot water and then, and yo, and we just laughed about it. As soon as I was like, Oh, I got bottles. <laughs> and I was like, Yo, this is a really dope moment that honestly, recording would have been fun. But at the same time, I, like I said, I kind of want to cherish those like private moments. You feel me? So, unfortunately, I didn't go to the gym today and I did not bring my gym bag with me either. So it's unlikely, even though I do have like gym clothes underneath my uh, work clothes, it's most unlikely that I'll be going to the gym today, but I'm definitely going to continue counting my calories. And also, uh, these results that you see here, these are everything that I've been doing, like just walking, you know what I'm saying? Walking at my job because part of my job is to, you know, uh, bring a unit down to the first floor bringing you upstairs to the uh, back at my desk, uh, you know, walk distant, do measurement. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, many times I have to go back and forth to the bathroom because that's a good 25, 50 feet walk from my desk, you know? Um, so those are the things that are going to help me. And I feel like it's going to be beneficial too. So I don't want to like filibuster this video itself, but uh, just know I am doing my best. So keep me in the loop. Here we are at the Emerald Mall. We're going to do a quick montage. This little girl. From what? 